and welcome to the Sleepy Fox Yarns podcast. I am your host, Holly. I live in North Carolina with my family. This is a podcast about crocheting and knitting and me messing with my nose ring. Um, um, I talk about the things I'm working on, my shop updates and stuff, because I am the dyer and designer behind Sleepy Fox Yarn Company. And I have my window open because it is kind of warm tonight. Kind of warm, but I'm still wearing this, so I don't, I don't know. Um, so yes, thank you for all returning viewers for sticking by my very inconsistent upload schedule. And welcome all new subscribers and viewers. I hope you like what you see and you decide to stick around and subscribe and hitting the bell notification so you know every time I upload, which lately has not been often. <laughs> um, so yes, hello, welcome. You can find me on Ravelry as Holly Nicole 1316. You can find me on Instagram as Sleepy Fox Yarn Co. or Yarn Journey Crochet, which I have not been using as much as I should be. I'm really bad at social media. Um, we do have a podcast, podcast group on Ravelry, um, and I believe it's called Sleepy Fox Yarn Co., um, or Sleepy Fox Yarns Podcast, something like that. If you type it in, you'll find it. Um, so yes, my cat is meowing at the door now. Um, I'm trying to think. I technically have a Facebook group. If you would like to join, um, it's been pretty dead and I really don't check it or post on it. <laughs> I'm really bad at social media, guys. I am really, really bad. I'm sorry. Um, so you can find that at Sleepy Fox Yarn Co. as well. Um, my shop is sleepyfoxyarnco.com as well as on Etsy as Sleepy Fox Yarn Co. And I think that is it of where you can find me on the web. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think. We do have a making Christmas mal going on. So if you are making gifts, crocheting, knitting, weaving, sewing, any craft really, um, as long as it's either for Christmas, like for your home decor, whatever, for Christmas, or, um, going to be a gift for Christmas, you are free to enter that. I will be pulling prizes. It's a very informal now. Um, kind of just post even chatting in there on the Ravelry thread will get you an, a, pri a, a chance to win a prize. I'm sorry, guys. It is after dinner, so I'm in a food coma. We had chili tonight. Um, but I've already filmed this today. And half of my footage somehow was on my phone. But when I went to put it on the computer and pull it off my phone, half of it was missing. So I have to refilm it again. So that I believe is it. Let's see. I'm sitting at three minutes. And this new phone that I bought, because I bought a new phone, it wants to cut me off at 10 minutes. So I have to like restart every 10 minutes. Um, so I think what we'll do first is we'll do shop update and then we'll get into... Um, FOs, whips, and then we will go over the Halloween advent that I wanted to share with you guys that I didn't get a chance to, um, and life stuff. So let's get into it. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, so I did a shop update this past Friday. Um, where I have put up five new colorways on three different bases. So the first one, which is a new base, which I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. I filmed it during the day earlier, had natural light, and everything was showing up beautifully, but now it's nighttime. It's like, I don't even know what time it is right now. Um, so yeah. Why am I so out of breath? I've literally been just sitting here. I don't know. My brain, I feel like it's going a million miles a minute and maybe that's why. <laughs> I'm like, <gasps> okay. Anyways, 
I did a shop update on Friday, and this is one of the new colorways. It is called Canary. It is a navy black and yellow with cream. And this is on our new base, which I'm not sure. This is total trial run. Um, it is cheaper because it is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. So 100 gram skein of this, it is a DK, is going, I think, I can't remember if I put it at $18 or $19 a skein. So I think that's a pretty good deal for a hand dyed um, skein of yarn. Um, so yeah. We do have four of Canary in shop. Uh, and then our second colorway on this base is called Scarecrow, which is a orange and brown. Like if you can see there's like orange and brown and right now it's just showing a lot of brown on this skein. Here, let me find that one. Here we go. This is more like what it looks like. So there's more oranges and brown, um, some blacks, um, some really deep oranges, some lighter oranges. And that one is called Scarecrow. Like I said, these are going for $18 or $19. They are both up on my website and on Etsy. Um, if you are someone like me that when I purchase from a small business, I want them to get the most out of their money or my money when I buy from them, please make an effort to buy from my website, please, because Etsy likes to take a bajillion dollars in fees. And yeah, it's insane how many fees they take from us. So if you are someone that is a conscious shopper, I guess you can say, when it comes to small businesses and you want the business to get as much of your money and paying for their work and their hard, you know, their hard work, please consider purchasing <laughs> from my website and not Etsy because if you purchase from the website, there are no fees. Um, I pay the fee for the year and that's the only fee I pay, which is just to have the website. So those are the two um, that are on the Peruvian Highland base. And then we have, let me grab one of each. Put my glasses, this is why I don't have them up because if not, you cannot see my eyeballs. Uh, okay. Trying to grab one skein of DK and then. Okay. So then we have three additional colorways, and this is on our gray fox base and our arctic fox base. So our gray fox base is our 7525 um, fingering base. So this is on our gray fox base that you're seeing. This is called Salem, and it is this beautiful wine color, and I mean it's got some really nice dark colors in there. And then you got some like speckles of orange and browns. Um, so super pretty, super pretty. Um, not to mention this like nice mauve color. I mean, you can even see some of the speckles of brown down here a little better. So this is on the Arctic Fox base, which is also a DK 7525 and a fingering 20, 7525. Okay, it just went into the countdown for one minute left. <laughs> and then we have Murder on Haunted Hill, which was actually a colorway that was in the Halloween advent that I really liked and I wanted to bring it to the shop. So this is on the Arctic Fox base. This is the DK. Um, so as you can see, it's like blacks and reds, speckles, and it is freaking amazing. <laughs> Toot toot. <laughs> okay. So next up, um, which I think, I thought Salem was going to be my favorite. This one, I would have to say, takes the cake this time around. This is called French Quarter. Why, I don't know. It just popped in my head. 
So this has some really nice like aqua colors and these bright acidy greens with these nice deep purples. Oh my goodness. Oh, like if you can look there, you'll see some more speckled colors. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this and I cannot wait to make something with this. Um, so yeah, this is French Quarter. Sorry, my brain just had a brain fart. Um, also on our gray fox base and our arctic fox base. You can kind of remember because arctic foxes are in colder climate, so I thought DK, colder climate, colder, I don't know. I don't know. So that is it for shop update. That is our four, five new colorways that I just put up in the shop and the Highland, Peruvian Highland wool is 100% wool. There is no nylon. It is not super wash. Um, so if you guys are interested in that base, this is very much a test run. If it does not sell, it won't come back. So yeah. Um, so let's move on to the crochet and knitting stuff. So I do have a finished object that I cannot show you because it is my grandma's present and she watches. So I will not be showing it. <laughs> um, but I have another FO that I had been working on. Periodically, um, I was working on a scrap slash memory blanket and I finished it. It's huge. Um, so I believe I was like kind of in this blue area or had just started the orange and I had worked the rest of this and I thought that would be a good time to stop because it is pretty long like I can hold it up above my head and it just hits like I would say mid calf so it's a good size blanket I can lay on the couch and it completely covers me um so as you can see lots and lots of love has gone into it um so yeah, and it smells like dog right now because I have had this done for two weeks and it's been on our couch and our dog likes to lay on crochet blankets. <laughs> My dog is spoiled. Um, so I finished this. Um, there is no pattern for this. If you guys are interested in a pattern, please let me know because I do plan on making another one of these um, because my husband basically says we need another one because he really likes this blanket, but he doesn't think it's wide enough. So I will be making another one slightly bigger. If you guys are interested in having a pattern for this, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to write one up. It's a super simple, like marled blanket. And I love the way it came out. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, it'll probably be a free pattern just because it's a blanket like yeah so that is all I have for FOs um, um so next up is whip sorry I was like having a hard time swallowing my brain was like swallow what's that um <laughs> I'm so sorry so the next item I was working on this is something that I started last year I believe um and it's been sitting till now so I have been I picked it up again because I really would like a finished garment for myself um mainly because I'm finished making gifts I'm super proud of that I wanted to be done in October but I finished in November Technically October. It was late October. But anyways, I have picked up my Reminisce sweater again by Heidi May of the Velvet Acorn. Um, I have not put in a lot of work on this. It is, it just fell. I'll pick that up later. <laughs> I have not put in a lot of work. I have literally put on, I think, four rows. So this is the back of it and 
as you can see, I've put on four rows. Mind you, this is a very big sweater. I think I purposely made this oversized, which now I'm like, I wish I didn't because it is going to take a lot longer. Um, so the yarn I am using for this is, um, Joy DK, Loops and Threads Joy DK in the snow colorway. Oh, that is really bright. There we go. Um, and the purple that I'm going to put on it, I believe, is called Iris. It's still the same Loops and Threads Joy DK um, in the color Iris, which is this is what it looks like, which is totally the wrong color on screen. But, yeah. Um, I would really like to have this done um, before winter, like, fully hits us. Um, but I, I have a billion, bajillion projects going. And I, of course, my kids' stuff takes precedent because I want them to be warm for winter. Oh my gosh. My kids are savages. Um, <laughs> savage. So their stuff kind of takes precedent because I want them to be warm and toasty during winter, which typically means my stuff sits on the back burner. Of course, um, which goes and brings us into our next project, which is in a bag that I bought. So this is technically an acquisition as well. Um, this is by Anne Sear Handmade, which you also may know as Random Randy's Ramblings here on YouTube, um, which here's her card right here. So that is her shop name. Okay, there we go. And then here is where you can find her. Oh, my big fingers are in the way. Yeah, you probably can't see that. <sighs> okay, so technically this is a hoe because it is half done. Um a half object Ooh. oh my god so many ends why do I make my ends so long so I am making Emma socks again she I made her a pair last year and she has already outgrown them I guess she tried to put them on a few days ago and she was like mom my socks don't fit I need new socks luckily I was already ahead of the curve and was already a sock in um, so this is Knit Picks Felici in Cloudy with a Chance of Rainbows, which is actually a pretty dull rainbow. Like, it's coming off pretty bright, but I feel like it's not that bright in person. It's still really pretty. Um, Emma loves it. So, hey, it's rainbow. So, I am actually... Hold on. So, I'm actually um onto the heel flap so as you can see I got ribbing done leg done and I am currently working on the heel flap um <clears throat> which I've already made a mistake on this sock and it's a pretty lengthy one too so first sock from the ribbing I had one two three stripes of color before I continued on to the heel flap now <laughs> On this sock I have one two three four stripes of color before I started the heel flap so one leg is going to be about three quarters of an inch longer <laughs> and I could rip back I really could I'm still at a point where I could and it isn't all for naught but I'm too lazy. I don't want to rip back. I want to finish her socks so I can do Colin's socks and Nick wants a pair of, Nick wants a pair of socks, guys. He wants 
a pair of socks. He's asked me, he's like, why aren't you working on my socks? I'm like, what? You want socks? He's like, yeah, I want socks. So news to me, he now wants socks. So I have to, uh, you know, make him socks. So, um, I am not using a pattern per se. Um, I'm pretty much just using the numbers off of the cough, coffee, morning coffee socks by Kay Litton, who is also the crazy sock lady. So that is basically all I'm doing. I'm using the numbers, but I'm not using the pattern on the sock. Um, Although it's a beautiful pattern, I just, I wanted something that I didn't have to focus on at all. I just wanted to knit some socks while watching TV because my husband has been really big on Lucifer the last couple of weeks and he had, he had, we both, I mean, I'm not going to lie. We both binge watch seasons one through four in about two weeks. Yeah. And now he's telling me he wants me to make him a Lucifer blanket. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll buy you the yarn. You just have to make it. Can I get it before Christmas? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You want me to make you a king size blanket. Grafgan no less. In less than a month? Your bananas. Um <laughs> so yeah, that's not happening. So that is my last project. You would think I would have gotten more done, but I just, I wasn't feeling well. And that pretty much stopped me from doing a lot. Um, basically the sock was the main thing that I worked on. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. I worked on that while we watched Lucifer and other than that, I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to do anymore. <laughs> so what I wanted to also show you was the advent that I failed to share with you guys during um, Vlogtober. So Vlogtober, I kind of lost steam around the 20-ish day mark and I was just burnt out. I wasn't feeling well. I just... I was pretty much done <laughs> and I was supposed to podcast last weekend and didn't there was supposed to be a pattern showcase Tuesday the weekend before that or the Tuesday before that and there wasn't so yeah anyways I wanted to share it with you guys because I know um, some of you guys were curious to see what came in the advent and um, speaking of Advent, Christmas Advents have gone out. Um, some people have already received theirs. They should have all received theirs. They were all U.S. and they were all priority shipping. So they should have received it this week if they did it. Wow. I'm just really noticing how dark this eye is and smoky compared to that eye. Sorry. It's making my eyes look lopsided. So, um, yeah, so I will start with the mini skeins and then I will show you the big skein last. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember the order these came in. At this point, it really doesn't matter because everyone's seen them, if they've seen them at all or, you know, yeah. So number one is Wolfpack. Number two, Our Favorite Witch. Corpse. Which, mind you, these are kind of uh, blowing out quite a bit on here. Or the colors shifted. That one looks pretty accurate. So this is Jack-O-Lantern. My kids are going bananas downstairs. Murder on Haunted Hill, which is now available for full skeins. That was about to pop right off. Uh, 
This one is a trick or treat. Colin screwed this one up, so it that's why it looks like a mess in the hank. This one is graveyard. All Hallows Eve. And then we have, wait, this one's Death's Raven, which kind of looks a little similar to Ouija. Um, one has a little more white and this has, Death's Raven has purple in it, where Ouija is supposed to be a black tonal, which has some white in it. Very little, but um, it does have a little bit. And then we have, this one is really corny, Vampire Snack. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything better, apparently. And then this one is Autumn Harvest, which I told Nick after this. I was like, I should have named this, like, Sacrifice or something. Like something spooky that you always hear of in like urban legends that happens on Halloween. Like, I mean, who hasn't heard of someone like sacrificing things on Halloween to the nether spirits? So that was the 12 mini skeins. And the 13th, you got a large skein. And this is called Summoning the Spirits. Which... Here we go. You could see a little more color underneath the label of the speckles. So that was super fun. I love like the highlighter acid green, which normally I cannot stand, but I think because it was on this like gray base and it was just like a pop of color, I really love the way it turned out. So that was it for the advent. So we will move on to acquisitions, which is not a lot. Um, obviously, I bought the bag from Randy and then I went to Walmart and saw some things that I wanted to get for the kids because, you know, winter's around the corner. They're going to need more hats and mittens because they have outgrown the ones that they used last year. So we will get into it. Um, I got this one, which is Red Heart Super Saver Fair Isle. There we go. And this is in the Calm Fair Isle colorway, which is a dark blue, a turquoisey blue, gray and white. I don't know what that was. My phone. Duh. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, next, which looks like there was some cross contamination happening there. I also got, um, the Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in Calm Stripes, which is essentially the same color as the Fair Isle, which I really loved because if Col Colin can basically mix and match his hat and mittens, which I do, fingers crossed, hope to get them two pairs this year. Um... So, this next one is also a Super Saver Fair Isle in the Candy Fair Isle colorway, obviously, for Emma. She loves her bright, rainbowy colors, which is why we got this bad boy next. <laughs> um, this is a Red Heart Super Saver Pooling in the Papaya Pooling colorway. Um, I will not be color pooling this. I, as much as I love the way color pooling looks, it is so finicky and you're constantly having to change your tension to get the right color pools and it's just too much work for me. They're, it's one of those things that look very pretty when it's finished, kind of like the Buffalo plaid. Gorgeous finished. I love the way they look, but they're just so finicky while doing it. It makes it, it, it takes the fun right out of it, to be honest. So next I got this 
um, Red Heart Hello Gorgeous. Now this one's for me. Um, in the Orchid Blossom colorway. So super pretty. Lots of neutrals and jewel tones. Yeah. I really like it a lot. So I'm hoping to have a hat out of this one. And then last but not least, I found this thing called Easy Knit Overjoyed Yarn. Now, I have not... I just... What is going on? Okay. Sorry. I found this at Walmart. And I have not seen this before. It is a 100% acrylic, right? Yeah, 100% acrylic, but it is super soft. It almost feels like um, Karen Simply Soft, but softer, if that makes sense. Um, so I got the black. They don't have a lot of colors, but they do have very bright colors. Oh my goodness, my kids are screaming for me. Um, it says it's a bulky weight yarn, but... China. Where is that? Like, I don't know. I feel like that is definitely worsted weight to me. Like, that is not bulky. Maybe Aaron, but it's not bulky weight. Um, so that is it. And the colorway for this was literally just black. Um, that is pretty much it for acquisitions on to chatter and life stuff. Um, so life stuff. I totally fell off the wagon when it came to Vlogtober just because gluten happened and I, for not eating it for so long, you really don't realize how bad it can be when you eat it again. And I have a hair in the back of my throat or a fuzzy. <coughs> oh gosh. So yeah, I was dealing with that and I just felt like garbage. And um, one of my lovely side effects that I get from eating gluten is I can get depression which is so fun. Um, and I think with me doing Vlogtober and I wasn't getting a very big, I wasn't getting a lot of good feedback. I mean, I really wasn't getting any feedback. One second. Okay. So like I was saying, I was not getting a lot of feedback. Um, and when I did get feedback, it was good, but I mean, I think I was getting things like 30 views on there. I was still getting dislikes. Can you just like cat butt? Um, so I think that had to do with a lot of it. I felt like, what was I doing wrong? Why weren't people watching it? I've had so many people tell me they would be interested in watching and then no real turnout. So I think that was just getting to me and kind of upsetting me in that way. But eventually I was just like, you know what? I'm getting burnt out from filming every day, even though I didn't, um, even though I did not post every day, I was filming every day and I kept having technical difficulties. I kept, you know, it was just a mess, basically. And Halloween was getting busy. You know, I was doing the advents. I was basically dying up all the Christmas advents, which I couldn't show you guys, even though I wanted to. I wanted to show you guys how I died, but I couldn't because all my dying was on the Christmas advents and I couldn't show you guys that because, you know, people bought Christmas advents and they want it to be a surprise. So that was kind of frustrating. You know, I had all these ideas and then 
apparently my brain just shut down and had a brain fart and was like, mm, nope. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It was still super hot and I was just not feeling very in the Halloween festive mood because of the heat. I mean, literally Halloween night, it was 85 degrees and humid and I was sweating. It was gross. So yeah, but, um, other than that, you know, I mean, we're sitting, what it's October 10th right now, basically getting prepped for Colin's birthday, which was yesterday. He turned three. Um, and next week we have the Marine Corps ball that we're going to, which is going to be, I have my reservations. <laughs> My gut is telling me something is going to go terribly wrong and I'm dreading it a little bit. And I'm kind of dreading the fact of how much money we spent on it, which is, you know, for an event that they make mandatory, I feel like people should not have to pay $100, $120 a pop to go when it's mandatory, you know, that's frustrating. And not to mention, we had to pay for childcare, we had to pay for a hotel room, because it is not close by. Um, so it's just, the amount of money that went out for this was very frustrating, because, you know, Christmas is right around the corner, and normally, most of my Christmas shopping is done by now. Like, I take that back. It is over half done. The last of it is Black Friday. It was when I get all my deals and I am finished. Like Black Friday, I'm done. Which this year is not the case. Black Friday is my start time to um, buying gifts for everyone. Um, which other than my immediate family, everyone's getting made items. I'm not buying anything which may be a unpleasant surprise for some people, but we just don't have the money this year. Um, so yeah, that. Um, Emma lost her front tooth on Friday. And like I said, Colin turned three yesterday. So that was super fun. Um, and I totally did a no-no and ate cake, which <laughs> I'm gonna pay for. But I was like, you know what? I have not had cake in forever. Like, forever. And I love birthday cake. Not the frosting. I love the cake part. Like, I love cake. You could take the frosting. Like, I just want the cake. <laughs> so I did that. Um, but yeah, I ended up listing all that stuff. And other than that, life stuff, just trying to get ready for Christmas at this point, which, yes, we have Thanksgiving, but I mean, it is just my family that I cook for, so it is not that big of a night. It's not a big ordeal. Like, I'm not having, you know, 15 people at my house. It's just us. Um... Which I'm honestly not looking forward to Thanksgiving because I can't even eat half the foods because, you know, stuffing. I mean, I did make a rolls recipe. I found a rolls recipe, but I can't have stuffing. I can't have pies. I'm still looking for a good pie crust recipe at this point and have not found one. So. <laughs> not looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, and not to mention... I don't celebrate Thanksgiving the way everyone else does, you know, and I don't think my family does either. It's just pretty much it was a day for all of us to get together and enjoy each other's company, which at this point, you know, it's just us. We're not in California, California or Missouri, where my husband's family is at. So, yeah, it's basically us just gorging on food. <laughs> Um, <laughs> which has kind of lost its meaning at this point because family, we're the only family we have out here right now. But oh my gosh, I'm sounding super bummery right now and like down in the dumps <laughs> and I don't mean to be. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it at that and I will let you guys 
go and you can have a wonderful weekend technically a new a technically good week um happy veterans day um stay safe don't do anything stupid <laughs> I know there are a lot of people that get drunk on Veterans Day and, you know, stupid things happen. So be safe, have fun, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead of you, and I will see you guys later. Bye!